Hey guys, this is Darren and DIY. Uh, today we are going to show you how to use your DSLR camera as a webcam. Uh, the quality is much better than the built-in webcam that comes on the laptop. If you are interested, come along and we will show you all the steps including the setup to mount the camera and you know additional accessories that would come handy. To use DSLR as a webcam, you need following accessories. You need a USB video capture card that you can purchase from Amazon. This supports 30 frames per second and we would have a link in the description. You obviously need a DSLR camera with a battery. In our case, we would create a dummy battery that you can power from USB. In order to use the camera, you also need a mount. For our setup, we created the mount using some wood pieces and few bolts. The mount fit perfectly in the monitor stand centered above the screen. It consists of a vertical piece and a 90 degree surface for the camera. The vertical piece is held by a wooden clamp against the monitor stand. The top piece has a hole for quarter 20 bolt that's the standard size used in all camera mounts. All the knobs are made using some wood pieces, the quarter 20 bolt and super glue. As the camera would be used for extended period of time, it's generally recommended to have a USB powered battery. That way you don't have to replace the battery to charge again and again. In our case we used a bad battery we had laying around. We removed the actual battery cells and used the case for powering it from USB. As the USB gives 5.1 volt, but the camera actually needs 7.3 volt. For this purpose, we had to use a DC to DC step up circuit, which you can purchase from Amazon for like less than a dollar. The output from USB are connected to the voltage in ports of the circuit. The input coming in is 5.1 volt, but the output would be controlled in our case to be 7.3 volts as you see using the potentiometer of the circuit. A fully charged battery actually gives 8.3 volt, so that's what we are configured in our case. The output from the DC step up circuit are then connected to the electronics that we have removed from the original battery and the ports are just connected to B plus and B minus of the circuit. Once connected, the new DC circuit along with the original battery electronic was placed back inside the battery. As we forgot to run the USB wire, we had to unsolder it and make a small hole to run the USB wire. This way, the battery can be placed inside the camera and the USB wire can come from the side. We used hot glue to secure the circuit inside the battery. That way, once inside the camera, the circuit won't come loose. We also used hot glue to secure the battery case back. You can see the final setup here with the battery installed in the camera. In order to put it all together, the camera mount is attached to the monitor stand. The camera is then mounted on the top using the quarter 20 bolt. Once firmly secured, the HDMI cable is then connected to the camera with the other end connected to the video capture card. The USB cable from the battery is also connected to the computer. The setup is mostly plug and play. Here I'm launching zoom and going to the video settings. By default the camera from your laptop should be showing but if you select the USB video that's where the input from DSLR is coming in. Right now it's turned off. As soon as I turned it on and put it on live view the video feed is coming. As you can see the video is pretty clear and the HD option just lets you play with the aspect ratio. Once the video setting is complete any new meeting that you launch should show the video from DSLR. Here you can see the difference in quality between the laptop camera and the DSLR camera. 
If your area is not very well lit, you can also use an inexpensive ring light from Amazon that can help with it. You can see the setup with or without it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. If you leave any question, I'll try my best to answer those. Hope to see you in the next video.